The doctor said, would you like to come to the hospice? I thought they must be wanting her to go there to spend her final days. In my mind, the hospice was very quiet. It was full of old people. Just sad and dark and everybody's upset. And in actual fact, it wasn't like that. The minute that you walked through that door, it was like this sense of peace. Gave you a big warm hug. This is my safe place. I can vent, I can have fun. I can be mum to Isla. Just purely mum, not nurse, therapist, teacher, trainer. It was no longer a hospice. It was just a place to come and be part of a family who, who were going to look after us. Frey and I are not alone. We're in this together. They got to know Aidan and thought the back of their hand, they knew what... <laughs> and they, they would decorate his room. Uh-huh. You know, special yeah. pictures for him and things like yeah. that. I mean, as, as the staff, as the volunteers, as his gardeners, you know, there's so many people. I would love to thank everyone else. We focus on memory making and, and maybe just making things a little bit easier for families. There is lots of colour and lots of space for you to be you. So families can be supporting them in the hospice, in the hospital or at homes, and it's about supporting these children and families through the journey that they've got ahead. On a day we could be doing music therapy in the morning, assisting with that, or like virtual hospice music therapies. If the weather's really nice, then we utilise our amazing back garden. We're about living and we concentrate on what you can do, not what you can't do. And you don't realise how important that is for families. That's what we're here to do. The time that you cherish most is the time that Aidan passed. Because uh -huh. I think with them having the rainbow room, he was able to stay here and we were able to stay here with him. We were being cared for and looked after. I can't describe the difference this place made to the start of our grieving process. It gave you a chance to grieve, I think. The thing about the staff here is they understand. They get it. I am a bereaved sibling, and I know how important those memories are. So knowing that our families have that chance and can go into the Rainbow Room and get their heads around it, help navigate through the darkest days. Wish we didn't need Chaz, but my goodness, my life would not be as full if I hadn't had Chaz as that catalyst. I think for me it's it's the it's the comfort and it's the it's the love. When Chaz at home come to the house, they also look after me and they look after the rest of the family. They're always going to be there for me and I know that. They're never going to walk away. More and more families are choosing to stay at home, particularly at end of life. Chaz is there for every family in Scotland. It's not a one service fits all. We're looking to provide support across the whole of Scotland to take services where they're needed. place where everybody understands. Kind of like a family, an extended family. They've been keeping the joy alive in our lives for so many years and I know they will continue to do that.